you want. Them. So now, this is what you're gonna see, but not exactly like this. Your man's pen, um, the head of his penis is right here, but it's closer to the testicles because he's not erect. And the balls are sitting up here nice and healthy. Now ladies, realistically, the balls look different depending on the age of your man. So if your man is 40 and younger, the balls sit up here healthy. That's what young, healthy balls do. They sit up, they firm, they're young. They got a lot of sperm. But as your man gets a little older, 42, 45, the balls start to fall. Once your man hit 50, the balls are already gonna be on the bed. That's what old balls do, they fall. They like press. Don't be mad at him, close to the pitch. Just, just understand, as he gets older, this technique gonna change. So now, what you're gonna do with your tongue, you're gonna do a figure eight motion with the tip of your tongue. You're gonna suck the head, the shaft, the balls all at the same time. It is gonna drive your man insane. Most men will end up in two different positions. Number one, Chinese split like he's doing a percolator. <laughs> or number two, he's gonna be on all fours like a little bitch. Don't laugh at him, he always combobulated. But if your man is face down, ass up, you need to take your phone, take a picture real quick, and just go. Just in case he messed up and wanna break up with you, you just put on Facebook for five minutes. See, this is a bitch ass nigga. This is why we're on together. That's how I'm gonna call his ass in the air. You know what I'm saying? No, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> What you're gonna do is you're actually gonna suck the head of his penis, then you're gonna take the tip of your tongue, you're gonna start the right side of the head of his penis, you're gonna cross over the shaft to the left testicle, over to the right testicle, you cross back over the shaft to the left side and suck. Then you're gonna suck again, lift your tongue, now it's gonna start on the left side of the head of his penis, cross over to the, I'm sorry, the right side of the head, not left. Over to the right testicle, over to the left side, cross back over. So pretty much all you're doing is drawing eight sucking, eight sucking. Now the reason why you're not gonna keep doing the same thing over and over, you're gonna change it up, meaning start from the right, do it, then start from the left and do it. It's because a male's penis is like a muscle. It has a memory. And every time you suck your man dick and you do the same thing over and over and over, his dick gets bored. It has a memory. So you have to chick, trick the dick. Um, I, I suck dick like playing chess. I never let the dick know my next move. That's how you keep a dick up. Stop being predictable, ladies, while you suck your man's dick. You're like, oh, hell, she gonna suck. Do the same thing over and over to you. Don't do that. So I'm going to teach you how to change your game. So this is the figure eight. You ready? ready. <laughs> like, you're not ready. Now you're ready. <laughs> There's nothing in my mouth. Okay, so this is the figure eight. <laughs> So that is the figure eight. So as you're doing this, your man penis is getting, you know, harder and harder. He's going crazy. Once he can't take it anymore, this is what you're going to tell your man to do. Now turn your ass over, just like that. Everybody got it? All right, so now number two. I love my man, so I'm going to take the condom off. We in a committed relationship. So number two, this next technique is called mouth-watering good. The sole purpose of this technique is to get your mouth extremely wet because the wetter the better. That's the problem. A lot of women don't know how to get it really wet. So all you want to do is you want to take his penis, push as far back in your throat as you can to gag. When you gag, your mouth waters and your eyes tear. That's why when the men hit the back of your head, he hit that ah, I produce a saliva. He don't know how to tell you, but he ah you to death. You're like, stop. He wants it wetter. Nobody wants dry vagina. He does not want dry head. Ladies, take notes. I'm telling you, I'm telling you what I know. Because he's going to be this point, he just say, just, he don't want to, he just say, stop. So anyway, all you're going to do is push this far back. Now, I'm going to show you really quick the rules so you don't kill yourself. But the number one rule is sucking dick, ladies. Never suck dick on a full stomach. Hello. Less chance of throwing up. You don't go to dinner, then you suck this dick in the car, you throw up, now you're in McDonald's. That's dumb. No. You wait a little while, <laughs> then you suck this dick after, okay? So this is what you're going to do. You're going to take his penis, and you're going to gag how much you can put, you can put in your mouth. If you know it takes this much of his penis to gag, all you need to do is gag a couple of times. Not to throw up, you're gonna slide your hand up a little higher and you're gonna do a basic blowjob. Meaning, you always control the dick. You never let the dick control you. Okay? All you're gonna do that is a couple of times. Now, the sound effects you're gonna hear in a minute, I'm explaining it as well. So this is mouth-watering good. <laughs> Thank you. 
everybody didn't make that sound. There you go. Girl, you better hop. He's gonna be looking at you the sound like, girl, you better hop. <laughs> what happens is, is that sound effect does a couple of things. Number one, it activates, it activates, uh, activates the saliva to make it thicker and foamier. It buffers the back of your throat. And no man wants you to suck his dick like it's a silent movie. He want to know that you're enjoying it. And if you don't, fake it. This is a boring something. I don't want the kids to hear. <laughs> Fuck the kids. <laughs> My mouth things happen. Don't judge me. Okay, so now everybody has that mouth water good. Okay, so number three, this next technique is called pump it up. Now the reason why, ladies, your mouth never gets tired because every other technique is invasive, and then another one is less invasive. Pump it up is a less invasive technique. So everything I'm showing you has to be done in order. So you're not gonna just go home and just figure eight them to death. You have to do all of these in order. So with a pump it up, all you're gonna do is a basic blowjob with your hand and mouth goes up and down the shaft of his penis. Once you get a good momentum, that hand goes up and down. She's like, I've been doing this shit for years now. So once you go up and down, <laughs> your hand is going to come up to the corona. Ladies, the corona is this thin strip of skin underneath the head of his penis. It's called the coronal ridge. You come up there and you squeeze it a little bit to bring out that pre-com, that clear fluid that a lot of you ladies say, ugh. Oh, then you're going to take the tip of your tongue, place it inside his urethra, and pull that pre-com out. Sucky Dick is telling him a story. And I'm telling you right now, baby, if I'm willing to lick and suck the pre-cum, you know I'm gonna suck the nut. Even if you don't, that's your story, you're sticking with it, okay? So, I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look and sound, but I gotta do a little mouth water good first. Job. It's called fire and ice. I know. 
No, girl. Fire and ice. In this technique, there's a heated sensation and a cooling sensation. So all you're gonna do is do a basic blow job just up and down. No twisting, no hand jobs, no nothing. On your down stroke, your mouth opens up and it's fire like <sighs> Your objective is to take all this saliva you built up in this full blow job and spread onto his pelvis. Hello. On your up stroke, your teeth are gonna grab the shaft of his penis. Yes, your teeth. Most men hate teeth because you're giving dry head. Anything wet will glide. Unless you have all canines, don't do this. That'd be all Sharpie teeth. Don't do that. But if you got regular teeth, <laughs> you are okay to do this technique. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your teeth, you're not gonna bite, you're just gonna glide with a suck. Fire, ice. That's how you turn fire. No tongue in this technique, no man. No, no tongue, no tongue, you're gonna kiss up. Fire, ice. Everybody got it? Okay, so here I go real quick. Little mouth part of good? Watch out, girl. Yeah, I'm not 